Hello, I'm Bill Foster, president of Village Bank. And today I'd like to share a little bit about how we help business owners solve problems and achieve their goals. If you've worked with our mortgage banking team uh, you've uh, to purchase a home, or you've worked with our retail branch team members on your checking and savings needs, or you've worked side by side with us in the community, you've probably seen what I like to call the village magic. And that is this passionate desire to help our clients, to help our teammates, and to make a difference in the community. If you're a business owner, you get that magic, but you're also going to find we're not just bankers, we're problem solvers and business builders. I've been in banking for most of the last 32 years, and I've worked with small companies, large corporations, home builders, real estate investors, and uh, thought I kind of knew it all. And then from 2008 to 2012, I was actually consulting with businesses that were struggling through the Great Recession. Um, and I, it was just a big awakening for me came away from that appreciating that in small companies your employees and a lot of your clients are like family to you uh, and that makes a difference in how you make decisions another thing that struck me you know obviously working through that crisis how companies scramble and survive in that sort of environment and a piece of that is having clear goals a really good plan for getting through it and then the will to execute your plan um, and then finally, the thing that struck me is just a reminder of how important uh, communication and trust is to any relationship, whether that's business or personal. So when I joined Village in 2012, I brought that awareness with me, and it's really shaped how we have built our strategy in business banking and the team we put together to accomplish that. So let me share two real client examples of, of how this works and how we've helped our clients with this experience. The first is a commercial contracting company that had just won the largest contract in the history of the company and it was contested by a competitor. During the 18 months that it took to get that resolved, this company was carrying inventory and staff so that they could execute the contract when it got rolling. The problem was they lost money, dug themselves a hole, and got behind on payroll taxes. Well, we noticed this in the financial statements. We approached them about it. Uh, we didn't panic. Uh, we got our own tax counsel involved in kind of how a company works out of this. We encouraged them to engage counsel and to propose a repayment plan to the IRS before the IRS approached them. We worked with them to put a cash forecasting process in place so that we could look to the future with confidence and it, that enabled us to lend them money in a few instances while they worked through this. So thanks to the communication, the trust we built and a good plan and our crisis experience, we were, we were able to work with them through that. I'm happy to report it was the most profitable contract in the company's history. So as you can see, we're problem solvers. The second example is another local company that had uh, an opportunity to add a product line and grow substantially. And while we worked with them on uh, plans for funding that, they shared with us that they, uh, their desire to retire and, and to do that to sell the company. When you're a small business owner, it's tricky to plan for retirement and you can feel kind of trapped because your wealth is tied up in the company itself and your personal involvement is too important to the success and the value of the company to ever separate yourself from it. So you need a good plan and you need a good team of advisors to do that. So these, these folks, we worked with them uh, to help them understand the things that drive the value of their company, number one. Uh, talk, work with them and their advisors on how to clean up the financial statements so that a p prospective buyer could look at that with confidence. Uh, we worked with them on how to accumulate some wealth outside of the business so that they, their retirement wasn't completely dependent on the value of the business. And fourth, they asked us to help identify some investment bankers that could work with them. Now, I'm happy to report that they're, they've got a plan and they're working through that, but uh, 2015 was also the most profitable year in the history of the company. So as you can see, we're business builders. If you're a client watching this, thank you for your business. If you're a village team member watching this, thank you for your commitment to making this someplace special. And I would just want to end on a final note about our Village Bank, Village Bank Mortgage, and our commitment to the community. Number one, this is our home. Um, we were founded here by uh, a group of founding investors that believed that Richmond needed a true hometown bank. We do the hard, unsung work of making uh, our communities better. And I like to say, whether you're from Chesterfield, Henrico, Hanover, Palatan, or Richmond, this is our village. I hope to see you soon.